Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Larry from Kiwi Labs Pickleball and I wanted to sit down today and make a video that helps new people who haven't been, you know, tagging along on the journey with us learn a little bit about the paddles we make, you know, what paddle is the best for what style of player. And then towards the end of this video, if you want to stick around, I'll also share a little bit about, you know, who we are and how we came to be and what we have going on lately. So without further ado, let's dive into our paddles. We wanted to make the best paddles at a rec play price point. I love pickleball. I play probably four days a week. I am a rec player through and through. So I don't want to be spending, you know, two and $300 for a paddle. But I see those people with those nice paddles and I want that same technology. So that's what we made here. And that was kind of like the whole origin of Kiwi Labs Pickleball. So that brings us right into what's quickly becoming our very most popular paddle. This is called the Zero Zero Star. Now, it does come in two colors right now, but yeah, this is our, I, I say <laughs> entry level, but I mean, I play with this paddle all the time. There is by no means anything entry level about it other than the price point. It comes in at uh, around $80, a little bit under that. Um, it's not using the thermal form technology, which we'll talk about later. That's a little more uh, high grade. It involves encasing the paddle in carbon fiber, injecting the edges with foam, and they become a little more poppy, a little more powerful. This uses the standard method of paddle creation that you know has been around for ages. That's just uh, sometimes called cold pressed, sandwich style, where there's layer of carbon fiber, the plastic hex core, then another layer of carbon fiber, glue it all together with the edge guard. So this guy, we were able to scrape the price point down by not thermoforming it, and you know, have a little more versatility in our lineup. So it's not all thermoform paddles because I'll tell you, I very often, depending on like uh, my feeling that day, need to play with like a less powerful paddle or something that I feel I can control more. And I grabbed the zero zero star. I played with it all day this morning, for instance. So, um, and I only say that just to stress, like, even though it's our intro paddle, you know, anyone can play with it and, and, and get a lot of good use out of it too. It uses our brand new raw carbon fiber uh, fabric press technology. It is a peel ply technique that creates amazing spin, amazing texture. No one else is doing it. I'm sure people will start doing it, but right now we're one of the only people to offer this um, that gives a guarantee consistency from paddle to paddle. So quick aside, what, what people used to do is um, – and still do, not us though, uh, is hand polish every paddle within grit performance for uh, USA pickleball standards. And now there's a way using a cloth peel ply instead of um, a carbon fiber, more rough peel ply aspect um, that we can guarantee the closest roughness to legal standards without going over, without going way under by overcompensating it. And we are adapting that slowly throughout our lineup Right now, this and the slice, if you're watching this in a week or two from now, uh, are the only paddles that we have that are using this technology and probably the only paddles on the market. So that combo right here, that new technology on the Zero Zero Start makes this thing great for, I would say, <laughs> if you're just starting, obviously, all the way up to like the 3.5 to 4.0 player. Um, I would consider myself 3.5 all day long. And it is perfect for those resets, those nice dinks, but it's got just enough power. It's got tons of spin and it is a 14 millimeter. So we uh, only offer it in one thickness size and that 14 millimeter is slightly less thick than, you know, uh, obviously a 16 millimeter, which I personally feel can be too poppy sometimes. But from paddle to paddle, it can be nice. Long story short, it's the perfect combo. And the shape, by not cutting into the corners, as in, a, like, you know, a lot of uh, similar paddles, will maybe have, like, more of a, a curve up here. And while that does help reduce swing weight a little bit, it gets a great sweet spot. So we sacrificed maybe a little bit of swing weight for a great sweet spot because we know those intermediate players – probably don't need quicker, like a milli millisecond hand battle quickness more than they do a great consistent sweet spot. So that was the sacrifice we made. And I think we have an amazing product with the zero zero star. So let's move right along. Next, 
this is the paddle that made us. This was our very first paddle. Um, it is again, <laughs> I, I'd say I use this and this, I don't know. I use all of them all the time, but, uh, it's the slice and it is, it's our biggest sell, best selling paddle for a reason. Uh, like I said, we are now doing it in the uh, new peel ply fabric technology, which gives you great spin, great consistency. We have reduced the grip size to a um, 4.25 grip. So uh, we used to make it a little bit thicker, but it's gone back and forth of people <laughs> wanting it big, wanting it small. It now comes at a smaller grip. So maybe you've seen some reviews online. This is me saying, well, now it is smaller because that was probably the only complaint we had in a lot of the review videos out there is that it's an amazing paddle. They just wish the grip was smaller. And at the end of the day, even though a lot of people liked the big grip, we figured, well, you, you can just add a ton of overgrip to get an overgrip or to get a thicker girth paddle handle and you can't reduce the size as easy as it is to increase the size so we made it smaller and it, it's now i am calling it the most consistent paddle in pickleball uh with the new fabric peel ply i think we were able to get get even more control and way less pop-ups this is a thermoform paddle so it is the latest technology anything you'd want plus it is a hybrid shape, which is quickly becoming the most popular style of paddle. And what a hybrid shape means is that it's not eight inches wide like the older style of paddles, and it's not 16.5 inches high like the elongated paddles. It's right in the middle. It's, it's a little bit uh, shorter and a little bit wider than an elongated. And um, to me, it just gives you the best balance of sweet spot power. And like I said, it's just... You know, watch the reviews online. Don't just take my word for it. It's it's a popular paddle for a reason. We love the slice. It's perfect for, I would say, anywhere from... I don't recommend it to beginners because the thermoform paddles in general can pop up a lot. And when you're trying to do those short little dink battles, you're going to pop up and get the ball smashed in your face unless you have perfect control and nice discipline. And a lot of people don't have that when you're first starting. Uh, I mean, I like to say, like I said, I play pickleball all the time and I still do it all the time with a thermoform paddle and I go out and grab my zero zero start for that reason. So all that to say, if you are in that three Oh level, you're training, you're trying to get better, you're ready to get a slice and you're going to love it. Okay. Moving right along. This is our, let me get a good shot of that for you guys. This is our spiked paddle. This is our more premium offering. We wanted to have the whole spectrum and we wanted to do something unique. Everyone does that raw carbon exposed. And, you know, we wanted to just go all out with the craziest paddle we can do. And that is where we landed with the, with the spiked. And it is awesome. <laughs> it uses what's called 3K carbon. Um, that is a thicker weaved carbon fiber, which I would say is a little more elastic, a little more springy. Um, it gives a little more dwell time on the paddle, helps you place a little more. I, I would say this is like the best, uh, reset paddle on the market. Um, it's, it's maybe lacking a little power. So for you heavy hitter, the bangers, um, you're going to want to see the next paddle, but if you are doing a soft control game, if you're at that probably 4-0 level, if you have a tennis background especially and you have consistent shots with, you know, aiming at the sweet spot and getting a great shot, this paddle is definitely for you. Um, my brother, a co-owner of the, of the company, this is his go-to because he is that ex-tennis player and he can just, oh, he sends them with this thing from midcourt. Um, maybe he's in midcourt too often, I yell at him. <laughs> but he likes he loves the setups and and wailing them with this thing. I'll stop I'll stop rambling. But yeah, this thing obviously it rules. Um, we wouldn't sell if it didn't. But it's a unique paddle. So uh, watch some reviews. Uh, it is definitely you know depending on your game style and if you want more power, you, we have other options for you. But this is that great all court paddle. So it's a little bit of everything, and it does have these holes. There's five holes in this paddle. And what that does is the opposite of the, of the, uh, slower paddles. This is that swing weight King. It feels as light as possible in your hand. You've got an elongated shape so you can reach, you can grab everything and you're fast at the line with this. Um, check it out. You're gonna love it. 
All right. And last but not least, our latest paddle. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the Canon. And I want to make sure you can see the graphics on that. Black on black, the stealth look. I think it's just, it's so cool looking. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. There's the shot. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, another paddle I use a lot. What, what's cool about this is we decided to do this in two thicknesses. The 13 millimeter is our power paddle. Uh, but I know that could be a little too poppy for some people. So we also offer it in a 16 millimeter. It's a little more plush. You get a little more of that soft game going. That said, I can, I play well with both paddles. They're both great. If you are um, familiar with thermoforn paddles and how uh, a, a thinner thickness versus a thicker thickness is, you'll probably know what you want. And I think at this level, like if you are a higher level player, you're looking for power, um, you know what thickness you prefer already. And that way we have the options for you. So this is the Canon. It's a perfect all-around elongated paddle. Obviously thermoformed, uh, foam edges, the works. The one thing this doesn't have, we are not doing our uh, cloth peel ply on the Canon as of now. And that is just so we have the option really. You know, I could see us in, I don't know, six months or so, maybe deciding to just go peel uh, cloth peel ply on everything. Uh, but for now, we're we're making sure we have a little bit for everything because, um, I mean, I can't imagine you wouldn't like the new cloth peel ply. It is fantastic. We have tested it to hell, and it it rules. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, back to this. Long story short, this is a standard um, to go head to head with any other elongated thermoform paddle. I challenge you know it's the Canon and it rules. What else is there to say about it? If you're, especially if you're a pickleball nerd and you know what all those words mean, then you know you already know what it is. <laughs> um, I will say, if you're new to pickleball, uh, it's probably not the best paddle to start with. I would recommend this is a little more for the at least three o to all the way up to a pro could use this paddle just fine, and and that's why we love the Canon. Um, if you're maybe looking for that second paddle, that third paddle, then you're ready for the Canon. Uh, so yeah, we have a little bit of everything, and I think we're finally going to park it for a while. We have spent every single dollar we've made since we started this company into testing new paddles, um, getting paddles to market. It is not cheap to get them approved and, and, and tournament ready. So we just have been investing in the company and we have been, you know, gears to the wall, gears to the wall. That's a, whatever, you know what I mean? We're go we're full speed ahead. That's what I'm looking for. So, like I said, to wrap this video up a quick, just, you know, high level, you know, who is, who, what is key lab, Kiwi labs? Who are we? What do we do? Um, I'll start with the name. Our our whole thesis and and you know uh, uh, I don't want to say mission statement, but what we want to do is we want to be fun yet professional. So <laughs> that's where the Kiwi comes from. We we don't want to get out of rec play because that's where people learn. That's where people have the most fun. I think it's where you you know get better. It's where you play, and uh, that's where most people are at. So. I, at the time of starting the company, every paddle, it kind of had this like <laughs> overly professional look, boring, like red and black and primary colors. And, you know, just no one was afraid to break the mold. I, or I think everyone was afraid to t kind of break a traditional mold of just like, you know, standard hard edge designs. Right. And that's great to cater to a pro market. And that makes sense still like, you know, maybe, maybe I should have done a little more of that, but our whole thing was like, we want to bring the fun into pickleball that it is there. And the only people doing that are with these kind of cheaper Amazon paddles or paddles that aren't carbon fiber or, um, you know, don't have the technology that you're looking for. So we tried to do our best to, to incorporate that fun design, and then labs came in to take that fun but mesh it with the technology. So that way we have that balance of something fun that is kind of unique but at the same time still offers the same technology that those pro, maybe boring-looking paddles 
That said, I will say from when we started to now, there are so many cool professional paddles. So I'm not trying to bash anyone or anything there. Like paddles are getting cool now and I do not envy someone paddle shopping right now. So there's so many, you know, great competitive paddles on the market and it's hard to go wrong, which is, like I said, I think it's a good thing. Um, so yeah, we carved out our small little place here and we're hopefully not going anywhere. Um, so check out the site, you know, check out the paddles. If you watch this whole video, thank you because that's just insane. And I, I'm still shocked to this day that all of you who've supported us, uh, you know, we've barely been around, not even a year, which is again, mind blowing. And, you know, to double down, I don't think we're going to go anywhere either. We're just going to keep getting these paddles of the market. Our next step is to get into more stores, uh, get more demos through throughout the state so people can try out paddles and, uh, you know, hear your feedback, grow, evolve. Uh, that's what we're here for. So thank you guys again. I sincerely mean it. And with that, I'm out. Bye, guys.